I think a lot of investors, uh, especially uh, retail investors, may be looking at their portfolio and thinking, boy, I've gained a lot so far this year. Should I take a little bit out? Should I put my money on the side? What's your recommendation? Right. Uh, my recommendation is stick to your discipline. You know, this has been a kind of an incredible year where we've had, you know, uh, we've had these seven stocks. Steve uh, Kovac was talking about this earlier uh, on your program. Up 85 percent, seven stocks up 85 percent. They're driving the S&P 500 returns. The majority of the S&P 500 up two to three percent. So not many investors are saying, geez, I'm, my, my S&P portfolio is up 14 and a half percent and probably not the 30 plus percent of the Nasdaq. So what you do is you stick to your discipline and you don't get swayed by these short term market fads, the market volatility. A discipline really isn't a discipline if it can get wafted around and battered by these short term trends. So stick with the discipline, figure out where real value is and make sure that you're still on track to meet those long term goals. I, I go to your first point, though, and say, well, OK, uh, should I rebalance? Yeah, maybe if you have some of these stocks, you know, NVIDIA up 189 uh, percent. And should you maybe trim some of those a little bit and redeploy some money? That might make some sense to uh, listen to Contessa this morning. <laughs> OK, so if you're going to deploy some of your money that may have been sitting on the sidelines, if you miss the big run up to where we've been on the Nasdaq or the S&P 500, where would you put the money now, Michael? Uh, you know, I, I think you follow that old advice of saying hit them where they ain't. And remember that funda most mu fundamental rule of investing to buy low and sell high. So let's look at some of those things that might only be up two or three percent where the earnings have been continuing to grow, where market share continues to be solid. And some of those stocks that aren't just running up because they happen to have AI in their name. So, I, I mean, I, I take a look at stocks kind of like Disney or a PNC. As some of the big blue chips that really haven't moved all that much. And I would continue to stay defensive because we continue to have these headwinds from the Fed. Uh, we have some very high stock prices. We have this inverted yield curve. We have this kind of mother of all recessions that just won't happen. But economists are still saying there's tough sledding for the economy coming up. So I like continue to say those good blue chip companies and stay the course. Don't feel like you've missed too much unless your time horizon was six months. Right. Six months, you missed it. But if it's longer term, this is going to work out for you if you stay steady and stay the course. Don't ever bet against America. Greatest country in the world.